For our first agenda item that you wanted to work on was uh, the incident with your husband leaving. Um, sounds like it's been a pretty tough week for you. I wonder if you can come up with a certain incident that occurred this week that you can kind of pinpoint cause you to feel more depressed. Well, I think it all hit me the next morning after he had left. Um, when I rolled over and saw that he wasn't there and that he hadn't even been there, I started feeling real down. It got me feeling really depressed. And looking back on that, as you rolled over and noticed he wasn't there, can you remember what you were thinking at the time? I was thinking, he's really gone. I can't make it by myself. I, how am I going to go out and face the world? Just think of how much of a failure I am. And as these thoughts were going through your mind, how did they make you feel? I know I was feeling depressed. Um, I felt lonely and angry. So it sounds like you had a whole lot of feelings going on there. And what did you do next? I didn't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, all I could do was roll over and just pull the covers over my head. And did that make you feel any better? No. Did it make you feel worse? All I know is that I was just depressed all day. Okay. Well, maybe we can take this event. It sounds like a very rough one. Mm -hmm. for you and kind of sketch it out is that something to be okay with you okay so we can look at kind of how this occurred so we're going to look at the event which obviously it's your husband leaving but we're going to kind of pinpoint on the next morning when you rolled over and realized he wasn't there so I'll just write morning awakening okay. kind of as our cue mm -hmm. And the next kind of step in the sequence that we looked at was, what were you thinking at the time? And the reason I asked you that is, I don't know if I've talked to you about this, is, is the concept of automatic thoughts. Did we, have we talked about that? I think we talked briefly about it. Okay, before. just yeah. kind of as a refresher. Um, the idea of automatic thoughts is basically what you're thinking at the time kind of the unedited version of what's kind of running through your mind. Um, and you were able to tell me a few of those. Can you remember what they are? Um, I can't make it by myself. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I, I can't go out and face the world. Okay. Um, and how I felt like a, a failure. Okay. And as you look at these automatic thoughts, which basically I just wrote down what you had said, mm -hmm. how did they make you feel? Depressed. What else? Um, lonely. Mm -hmm. um, and angry. Yes. So it caused you to have a bunch of different feelings. And kind of the next step after feelings is, and what did you do? Do, do anything. All I did was turn over and pull the covers over my head and stay in bed all day. Stay in bed. What you've already sort of identified that that didn't help you feel much better. Um, one of the reasons we use this is to look at where in this cycle we might be able to kind of make some changes so that maybe we can have a different 
outcome. Okay. Um, one of the primary places we work is this concept here of the automatic thoughts because we do have some control over what we think about. Mm -hmm. And if, if you look at how this kind of works in, in a succession here, that you see that your thoughts affected how you felt. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we can work on these thoughts, maybe we can change how you felt and therefore behaved. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Is that something you'd be willing to work on today? Sure. Okay.